Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 4, Part 8. In this segment, I'm going to be taking my Seat Ibiza Cupra for a spin, and we'll uh, be driving it for the second half of the Sportsman series. Next stop, the famous twin ring Motegi Circuit in Tochigi Prefecture, Japan. I forgot it replays that thing if uh, you, like, you know, exit the game and stuff, so, uh... We got Class D Asian Tour, we got an Ibiza Spec Series, and we got Pontiac Classics, which is, my car's not a Pontiac, so I can't do that. Um, let's go with the Spec Series for this Motegi race. So here's what, I mean, obviously here's what everyone's going to be driving. And they have slightly lower, uh, less upgrades than I do. Or a different set of upgrades, with slightly, which gives them slightly lower PI. Oh boy! Uh, I don't know. Spec racing is cool. Especially when upgrades aren't involved, but it's four is a four, so upgrades are going to be involved. Because I gotta do everything on the maximum of difficulty. Maximum. Maximum, maximum, maximum. Mid afternoon in Motegi. Motegi. Wait a minute. <laughs> That's not right. So, we're gonna be starting 8th as usual, and uh, let's fucking get racing. Okay, um, attempt 2. <sighs> I got fucked by the accordion, so I have to try this again. Okay, so I need to be better with my evasive moves if everyone fucking parks their car this time. Or if I just completely out accelerate them or whatever the fuck just happened there. Well, we're off to a better start. I haven't rammed into the back of anybody and destroyed the front end of my car and also my. Well, actually, no, it was the size despite a front impact. But still. And also transmission. Oh, well. oh god. Thread the needle like a dumbass. Let's go three wide around the taggy road course. Why not? The oval, it makes sense. Road course, not so much. <clears throat> I'm flying into the turn. only a two out of four. Well, I need to uh, learn how to turn. The game thinks I suck at turning. No. <clears throat> Alright, Muller and Rossi. It's just you, you, and me. Those guys don't matter. Back there. Someone tells me this isn't going to happen very often, having, you know, the top three AI drivers and the actual top three of the AI drivers. <clears throat> Shit's been kind of all over the place, for the most part, so far. Hey, I'm only 1.2 seconds behind as opposed to 4. Point million progress. I broke way too early and way too much. Okay, that was fantastic. <coughs> it's going very well. Got to run on Rossi. Breaking way too early. But Rossi's actually giving me the lane, holy shit. It's a drag race underneath the oval. Still hanging on. Kind of tried to outbreak him there. It worked. Mm -hmm. 
Fuck me. Ugh. Throat is being an asshole right now. Okay, one turn to go. Taking a little wide, but it's fine. It's fine. Everything is okay. And across the line. That was a nice little race. Yes, Jack completely fucking died throughout that entire race. N no one paying attention. No one cares about me. I don't know. Hey, sad fan. Ooh. Ooh, that affinity bonus. Almost uh, got a double level up in affinity. Also, hey, I get a new car because I'm now level 10. Yeah. This is where the achievement thing would pop up if I was actually, like, you know, not using my uh, main Xbox Live account. Fresh design is the theme for this, okay. So Pojo RCZ, a Volkswagen Scirocco, and a Mazda Speed 3. Ooh. It's between the Pojo and the Mazda. Uh, I'm gonna get the 3. <clears throat> because... I like the Mazda 3, I guess. Kinda. I don't fucking know. I'm gonna get in red, because I'm original. Everything must be red, or purple, or black, or blue. Ah. Uh. Anyways, next event. Today's race takes place in the desert heat of Sedona Raceway Park. Oh shit, fam. It's Sedona time. Fuck yeah. Alright, looks like I'm upgrading this thing to C-Class. Alright. It's fucking Sedona. I really like this, like, map view. It's fucking Google Earth. Of a fake track. They put a lot of effort into this. It's really nice. Alright, so, let's just do a quick upgrade to C-Class. Here's what the game's gonna put on the car for me my 25% discount. Oh no, I still have to pay money for upgrades. What is this shit? And here we go. It is hatch racing time in C-Class. Here's what uh, everyone else is going to be driving and shit. So off we go to Sedona. Club circuit. <coughs> <coughs> I hate everything. I don't hate Sedona though. Sedona is awesome. I, I, I like Sedona a lot. Unfortunately, apparently Turn Ten didn't because they didn't. They decided to not, you know, include it in any Forza after this game. Still salty about that. <clears throat> Never not be salty about all the all the tracks that are gone. All of them. Must always show the starting grade, even though it's going to be the same every time. I'm in sixth. Everyone else, I'm in sixth if it's an eight car race, twelfth or eighth if it's a twelve car race. Eh. <clears throat> yeah, I know. I contradicted myself. I hate everything except this, which means I don't hate everything. I'm phony. A big fat phony. Sedona being removed was a mistake. Yes. Sedona, Sunset Peninsula, Maple Valley. I'm being an asshole. Oh shit. Things are happening in front of me. Up and down and all around me. Oh my god. Okay. That was an interesting start to this. There's cars everywhere. Rossi goes a little wide there. Rossi, what are you doing? You're blowing the 3 to 1 lead, mate. Alpine ring, shut up, test drive. I love the Alpine ring, but it hasn't been in Forza since one, so the They should bring back Blue Mountains Raceway, even though it was just bootleg uh, Mount Panorama. It was still cool, though. It had its own, you know, 
sort of uniqueness, even though it was just a blatant ripoff of Mount Panorama. Well, not ripoff, but a bootleg of Mount Panorama. I agree, Maple Valley was an awesome track. No track they should have brought back the Forza 1 full New York circuit. You know, the actual, like, long circuit, not just the really short circuit that was in 2 and 3 and... don't think is in this game. Sadly. My bull train. Great, I am the lean man right now. Unsurprisingly. Look at them, perfect turns. All two of them. I done messed up. Oh my god, okay. Late on the brakes. We're fine. A okay. I have a five second lead. Jesus Christ. M. Weasel, I. R. Baboon. Okay, final lap. <clears throat> oh yeah, this game is still fun. There's no denying that. So I can't really tell the FOV on this interior view if it's <clears throat> if it's as bad as Forza 3 or if I'm just a fucking shit butt. So I actually can't tell. I mean, I guess it's alright because I'm not, you know, no one's bitching about it. And it's not really like feel doesn't really look feel weird. So hey, whatever. Through chicane. I just noticed something about this track. There's a lot more green grass in this game. By that I mean there's actual green grass in this game's version as opposed to in Forza 3. Not nearly as bad, thought so. It was, hey, I won. By a lot. Now we wait. Oh boy. Eleven and a half seconds over Rossi. Nice. Swagalicious. More steering range. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Fucking yeah, the wheel actually turns in the fucking interior view now. He actually turns the wheel. Hey, level 2 affinity. The only thing that kind of sucks about affinity as opposed to car level is the reward is the exact same every time. At least with like the car level up stuff, you got a different discount on different types of upgrades for different cars. Next up, we travel to Northamptonshire, England for a race at the historic Silverstone Racing Circuit. In autocross, weave your way through cone gates to beat the target time. Oh boy, autocross. I believe this is another new addition to this game. Or with this game, autocross. Yay! I'm terrible at autocross, but I'll just fucking go. Gonna do C-Class, and I gotta do fucking Silverstone. Uh. Uh. <laughs> So, yeah, this autocross is interesting. But, um. What was I saying before the announcer man completely derailed my train of thought? 
Oh, yeah. No, I got I don't got it. I don't fucking know. Anyways, target time. 3 minutes 19. For one lap. Around the Silverstone autocross course. So, here we go. I have 93 cone gates to drive through. If I touch a cone or just completely miss a gate, I think I get, like, what? Unless it's different in this game, I'm going to go with Forza 6 and say it's a 5 second penalty. I really don't want to find out how bad the penalty is, so I'm just going to assume. Oh god, okay, we're good. And chair's falling, good. Okay, pretty tame course so far. <clears throat> Maybe I'm just used to the Forza 6 autocross courses. But they're really fucking... Ah, uh, tight everything. Just five seconds, thought so. Don't fuck up now. Kind of hoping I'm doing well here. I don't know if I actually am. Oh god! Ooh, almost, almost touched that cone or barrel. They're barrels, not cones. Oh boy, slaloms, my favorite. I love a slalom. Oh god, it's getting progressively tighter. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, there we go. Five second penalty confirmed. I'm pretty sure I just got a ten second penalty because there's two barrels there. Okay, now this is getting silly. Oh my god, I hate this fucking chair. As I slowly descend to the floor. Damn it. Come on, game, take pity on me. This fucking chair, I swear to god. Nope, still haven't dropped all the way down, god damn it. Hopefully the penalties are applied as you go. They were? Okay. Good. <laughs> Chair go up. Alright. Hooray, I succeeded in my first try. Sweet. With plenty of time to spare. So, uh, there we go. There's our first taste of autocross, and then got another level up of each. Oh boy. So I wonder what kind of car I'm going to get this time. Yeah. Let's find out. Historic rally icons. Ooh. I like the sound of that. So, Renault 5 Turbo, Ford Escort, Cosworth. Hello. Lancia Delta Integral. Ooh, Celica GT4 and Lancia 0 037 Stradale. Hmm. This is a tough choice. I'm going to go with the, uh, the Escort. Escort is cool. This Cosworth Escort, I mean. So, yeah. Eh, let's get in blue because Ford. Also, this blue looks really good. <clears throat> Sounds like a fantastic piece of furniture. Yeah, the hydraulics have been going on this chair for the past, like, year and a half at least. Now it's off to Barcelona, Spain to race at the magnificent Circuit de Catalunya. Oh shit, it's Catalonia time. Oh boy. Alrighty, well, looks like I'm gonna do the Sayat Club showcase because I really don't feel like upgrading this thing to A class, so. 
and get a random affinity bonus from this and yeah so we got 307 Leon Cupras, 203 Leon Cupras, and two Ibiza Cupras plus mine a Lamal I don't know why a Lamal, just a Lamal so here we go, Catalonia National Circuit the venue for event number nine. Number nine large. Two number forty fives. One with cheese. And a large soda. Oh. I love that stupid meme. <laughs> Fucking meme, I swear to God. <clears throat> Anyways, it is Catalonia time. Let us go. and stuff. So here we go. Here we go. Speaking of furniture and they say it. Ah, I get it because it's spelled seat. <laughs> Anyways, off we go. Around Catalonia. Love how that, uh, Fucking scoring pylon tower doesn't work. Like, at least in Forza 6, it counts the race time at the top. It doesn't even do that in the older game. How dare. They add subtle features. And just like that, I have flaved my way into the lead. Nice. Very nice. Into the hairpin. Hey, cubbies. Tongue lime gnosis. <clears throat> Treasure hunter. Oh, God. You can tell this stream is going to be full of stupid from me. Holy shit. I'm so used to Forza 6 and the fucking anti-cheat walls just there. It fucking open road, holy shit. I can actually see into the chicane. Alright, one lap down, two to go, and how large is my lead already? Four seconds. Fantastic. Speaking of full stupid, hi soccer. I think we're all full, full stupid here. Some more than other. Uh, yeah, some more than others. Oh fuck me! Carried way too much speed there. I cannot take that chicane flat out. Confirmed. Keep breaking way too soon. I don't know why. It's just kind of happening. Don't always go full stupid. I am always full stupid. I stay stupid. I don't get stupid. I stay stupid. Let's get retarded. Ha! Let's get retarded in here. You know, it's final lap. Look at that fucking wheel stability. Shaky, shaky to keep it going straight. Okay, he still doesn't. It's it's an improvement on the wheel turning, but not much of one. It went from like 10% to 20, or 10 degrees to like 20 degrees of wheel turn. It, it's still very minuscule. I 
Still love how they had to censor the shit out of that song for it to go on radio, because, oh, you can't say retard. So it basically makes all the lyrics, like, not... You know, makes sense. It's like, okay. Having a party, let's get stupid. And then, let's get started. What? That's not cor That's not correct. I always laugh and simultaneously cringe at censorship in music. Because most of the time it's retarded. Haha -ha jokes. Okay, well that was a dominant performance. The game upgraded my car a little too much, I think. And like I said, not really all that concern in the World Tour section. Because it's, you know, it's... Yeah, he. It's just yeah, he. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, random affinity bonus. What's it gonna be? Two thousand XP. Okay. <laughs> Almost reached level four. Almost got free everything forever for Sayats, except for like you know paying for the cars themselves. Is round number nine and one complete? That just leaves one more, which means the next stop on your tour is America's historic Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Well, one, it means we're going to Indianapolis. Two, it means we have another World Championship race to do. So, guess what? I'm splitting the sec segment here. So, next time on Forza Four, we will finish off the Sportsman series and go to Indianapolis for the first time in Forza, so stay tuned for that.